60 days ago, I decided to try Shopify drop shipping from scratch to see what type of results I can get with spending less than 30 minutes a day of work on the business. And today is update part number two. And I'm sorry to say the haters were right. The haters that say drop shipping is a scam and that it doesn't work anymore, that it's saturated. They were right. And I let you guys down. Psych! <laughs> Just kidding. Listen, we are crushing it. And today is update number two, where we took the store from zero to now $69,000 in sales. And you're going to see in this video exactly how I did it. If you didn't watch part number one, where I showed you the product, showed you the website, showed you the ads, make sure you watch that after watching this one. It's pretty epic to see how we took this saturated household product to now some crazy sales and to prove to you that it's still working. I even revealed the product when I could have made a lot more money from it, but I wanted to be transparent. Transparent. And for those who've been following me for a while, know that I almost every single time show you the products that I'm running and that I'm taking from zero to six figures, even seven figures in sales, and even many times sell the store at the end of things. Now, this video will be divided into two different parts, part number one and part number two, where I've been documenting and screen recording my entire journey of actively scaling this store. The craziest part is I challenge myself to spend less than 30 minutes a day on the store. Many of the times I didn't spend any time at all on the store itself and it was just printing sales minute over minute. It was absolutely insane. And this is how dropshipping works. Once you get it to a system and are implementing the strategies correctly, it will be a money printer for you and your ads will just do all the work. As you will see in this case study, it will be showing you again the store and the product and the ads and how we scaled it to these type of numbers. And it was a video just like this that allowed me to actually take dropshipping seriously six years ago. And since then, I've done over $7 million in sales with dropshipping. So it's completely changed my life and it was a case study just like this that started it all for me. So with that, I hope this case study motivates you to take that jump, take that leap forward and take dropshipping seriously as a real business model as it changed my life and it could change yours too. Enjoy. What's good, YouTube? So 60 days ago, I did a challenge video for the second time to see if dropshipping still works and started a brand new Shopify dropshipping store from scratch, brand new product, brand new store. And this is the results after about 60 days of running it. And as you can see on the screen, we have crossed over $50,000 in sales. Now, the last few weeks have been pretty wild because I have really not done any work at all on this store. And in this video, Video, I'm going to be showing you everything that we've done to scale it to these numbers. I'm even going to show you the numbers in sales and profits, which no guru out there shows you. The last week or so has been amazing for the store. And as you guys have been seeing in the other video, I literally revealed to you the product, the website, everything. And we're going to go through that as well. Once again. Okay. Now, as you can see on the screen, we've just crossed over $50,000 in sales. This is a product that literally two months ago was doing zero completely brand new, fresh product, fresh store, everything like that. We have now crossed over 613 orders with an average order value of $85, which is absolutely epic. Now, as you can see, going into the store itself, this is the product that we're selling. It's the Varo Window Platinum Film, which basically gives people privacy and also saves people on the energy bills by putting this up on their window. Now, as you can see here, okay, um, we were really, really, really excited about this product because a lot of people buy more multiple products. So they don't just buy one. Um, people are buying duos, trios, quad packs. And I want to show you what we did to actually scale this store in our ads manager. We're doing Facebook ads. When I say we, okay, uh, it's really no one, it's just me. Every single day, what I do is I just literally go into my ads. I bump up the budget just a little bit if it's really doing well and turn off the ads that are not working. But for the most part with Facebook ads, I like to just leave it um, and not touch it too much. Um, that's what I've seeing the big difference between TikTok and Facebook ads. I love both those platforms and it depends on the product, obviously. Um, I like to try both. This product definitely is crushing with Facebook ads. We have not tried TikTok ads, which leads me to the question is if I tried this with TikTok, would it work? I definitely think this is more of a Facebook product just because it's for home buyers um, and people that you know just want to um, put this up in their home. And most of those Facebook uh, users do have a home. So this is a great product for those type of people. I'm going to show you the Facebook ads as well. Um, and I'm also going to show you some of the profit numbers. So let's start with that first. As you can see, just coming into yesterday's results. Um, it was absolutely insane. We did 2,200 in sales and 1,100 in profit. As you can see on the right-hand side right over here, 
48% net profit, which is incredible. And yes, I could probably scale this to five to $10,000 per day, um, but I do not want to scale and then have this number drop. Um, I kind of want to keep it at the sweet spot, you know, without getting uh, Shopify payments banned for using PayPal as well. So just kind of keeping it at the, you know, $2,000 a day mark. And as you can see, the net profit has been incredible. Just looking back at the last week or so. Okay. I'm going to show you. We've literally done almost seven thousand dollars in total profit i've also went ahead and when it comes to the cost of goods i put it out a little bit higher just to be on the safe side so this number is actually close to seven thousand dollars i want to make sure that we account for any refunds chargeback stuff like that um, so you always want to be safe when you are inputting your information into a profit app like lifetimely now if you haven't watched my first video in this challenge i definitely recommend you watch it as i tell you how i found this product and show you some of the creatives but now let's go into the facebook ads to show you you how I've been structuring these ads and actually scaling day after day with such high profit margins. So you see, we spent $822, got back $2,200, which is super awesome. Now, the cool part here on Facebook, it only shows a ROAS of 2.39. Obviously, it is missing a few sales, so we have to keep that in mind. And my break-even point, meaning my profit margin, is about $60 or so per order, okay? So um, as you can see, the, the cost per purchase is only 35. People really go ahead and buy a lot of product on our website. So it gives us a big margin to work with. But as you can see, the CBOs is what's driving the most sales and traffic right now. Yesterday alone, three of the CBOs brought in most of the sales. I did have a little ABO running here, but I turned it off. Even though it had a 5.6 ROAS overall on this campaign, the results were not that great. Now I have a $200 CBO, $400 CBO, and a $200 CBO and each one of these have been bumped over time. So when I first started the challenge video, obviously I did not have these at such high budgets. I usually test with my CBOs at 50 or $100, and if it starts to work, I try to bump it around 20%, um, or if it's really doing well, I would double it 100% every other day. I try not to touch it too often. I just kind of let it do its thing. Um, but you know, you can always make multiple of the CBOs. You can see we had a few CBOs, um, a few few weeks ago that we initially tested with and I turned off those uh, campaigns that were not working and the ones that were working, I just went ahead and started to scale. Okay. Now, as you can see, each one of the CBOs, if we go into the ads, there is multiple ads running of that CBO. And then the ad sets, there's three ad sets right now that are running and two of them are no interest. One of them is an interest, which is real estate. Okay. And as you can see, um, the results are pretty various uh, between those three ad sets. Okay. Now coming back to the campaigns over here, if you change the date and we look at the last uh, two weeks or so, I want to just go ahead and update that to see the results. As you can see, they have been pretty consistent across the board with a good return. The cool part about this product is we don't need a big ROAS to actually get a high return and good profits with this product just because our cost of goods are super low. Now, the big number that I like to look at is obviously what our cost per purchase is and what is the ROAS. This product, since people are buying multiple of them, the ROAS is the most important part. So anything over a 1.3 ROAS for me is profitable. Even a 1.2 ROAS um, is profitable because again, our cost of goods are super low. Shout out to Commersive for getting the best prices in the game. Now, if you do want me to make a full tutorial on how to set up Facebook ads and my testing strategy, comment down below Facebook and I will try to make a video if this gets at least 100 likes. And just like that, the challenge is now completed. Next challenge, maybe we'll go from zero to 100,000 or even do a massive challenge from zero to a million dollars in sales, which I've done multiple times. This is what happens when you learn the skill of drop shipping and you don't do it like every other drop shipper with non-branded websites, you know, not doing the ads correctly, not having the right creatives. Like if you do things correctly, this is the results that you can get with your stores as well. And what I see a lot happening with a lot of people in the drop shipping space is that they're continuing to 
to test products with the wrong strategies, doing it the wrong way, and the results are the same every single time. They're either breaking even, losing money, not getting any sales, and they're scratching their head wondering why that is happening. And it's because they're doing things wrong. Do not expect great results if you're acting like every other dropshipper, if you're doing the same thing that every other dropshipper is doing. And if you wanna do things differently and you wanna learn the strategies that I'm using in my stores, then go ahead and click the first link in the description to go ahead and book a call with me and my team so we can see if we can help you start and scale your own e-commerce business the correct way this year and beyond. That's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I am now a little bit over two months into the challenge store, and these are the results so far. I think it's safe to say we've absolutely crushed this challenge. We are now at $70,000 in sales, and I just wanted to go ahead and record this little update here. 827 total orders on this store on this product. And you know, the craziest part about this store, cause it's not a record for me. I've scaled stores from zero to $380,000 in 45 days, right? But this store is special to me because not only did I document the entire process, I showed you that it's possible for an everyday person, a person that has a job, a person that can only put in one to two hours per day into their e-commerce business. This store, I barely ever spent more than 30 minutes a day on, and it's incredible to even see. And the craziest part, I never touched my product. I never even literally created my own video ad. I just took them from TikTok, which is Insane, right? And then we literally ran this product up to 70,000 sales. Now it's just incredible to even see this store at these sort of numbers, especially because I didn't really think that we were going to make anything out of it. I literally just started scaling this store to take it to 10,000 in sales to show you guys that it's possible. And then I'm like, hey, you know what? Let me show you how to take it to the next level. And that's what we did here. Um, and as you can see, we still have live visitors on the store. I'm still running it right now. We got ads active. I'm gonna show you those ads. Today, I'm actually lowering the ad spend. Um, because I'm going to roll out the store to the public, show you guys, you can still run up this product. Now I will say, I wanna show you something that's pretty interesting that I just found that I didn't even know about when we were starting to run this product out. So if you go to Google Trends and you type in the product that we're selling right now, which is the Window Privacy Films, uh, Window Films, let me see if I type in Window Films, you can see it'll pop up right here. And then what we can do is we can do the last five years. And I wanna show you this, right, as you can see, every single year it has these ups and downs, right? Because obviously the summer people really want this product. You can see during the summer, it spikes like crazy, right? Towards March, it really starts going crazy because people start to prepare for the summer, April, May, June, July. It really has its strong months, August as well. And then it starts to kind of dip down. As you can see now, we're kind of in that lower period. And that's why we're kind of slowing down the ad spend. But as you can see, this is a great tool that you can use to look at other products products, other trends, and catch it right before it starts to go viral. So the perfect time to launch a product like this is right before it starts to you know, really spike up, which is maybe March or so, right? Where the popularity score is at least over 50 and you know, your peak is probably going to be June, July, and August, right? Which we made most of our revenue at. And I know if we would have ran this up in July, um, really hard and pushed with a lot of ad spend, we could have done probably two to three hundred thousand dollars in sales with this product. Now, these are the stats for this month just alone, right? As you can see, we did twenty three thousand in sales over $5,000 in profit. And the craziest part is it was pretty much all in autopilot. I didn't really touch much of the Facebook ads that we had running. Really, the only thing that I did was I scaled some of the budget. So if I saw a certain campaign doing super well, I would bump the budget by about 20% and I would just let that do its thing. If something wasn't working, I did turn it off. Now, this month alone, we're running at a 32% profit margin. And I will say that the number is even higher because we did get some discounts from the supplier, which is commercial shout out to them. And that doesn't even factor in the points that I'm going to get from my credit card um, after spending 14000 in marketing this month alone. I literally haven't paid for a flight in a long time. I also use my points for hotels and just having fun on vacation, right? That's the cool part about e-com. You get to run up e-com stores and then you get to go on vacation for free. So it's a win-win. Something that I also did is started to get new creatives for this product. Let me show you one of them that just came in. Window film offers an excellent way to enhance your 
your privacy while still letting in natural light. If your space suffers from excessive heat and glare, our solar films are designed to reduce both, making your indoor environment more comfortable and energy efficient. You get privacy, comfort, and light all in one package. Take a look at the finished product. It not only enhances your privacy, but also adds a sleek, modern touch to your windows, creating a bright and inviting work environment. Imagine transforming your space into a bright, inviting environment without compromising on privacy. Transform your home today and enjoy the perfect blend of privacy and natural light. So really good ad. Um, I actually started hiring some really great editors, started to train them. Um, and you can easily make an ad like this on CapCut. Uh, that is how we're making these ads. And then what we're doing is we're making like a script. You can use ChatGPT to create a script like this. And then you put that into 11 Labs. 11 Labs is basically a AI software that makes an AI voice for you. And then you just put the captions on top. So you basically get a bunch of really good clips together. You chop those up. Then you put the voiceover on top and then you put the caption. So it's pretty much uh, that process in order. I also got this creative done, which is also a good one. It's basically the same thing as the other one, except that we changed up a little bit of the clips and the first 10 seconds. The first 10 seconds are very important uh, for your creative success. So make sure that you constantly tweak your top creatives, your top video ads, and make sure that those are excellent. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this challenge video. And if you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button and the like button. I also will have the link in the description to apply for my mentorship group where I will work personally with you to help you with every single step of your journey to get results like this, right? And that's my goal. I wanna create more case studies than ever before this year and I can't do it without you. So if you think that you got what it takes, you're ready to put in the work, you just need the guidance, you need that support, the person to turn to, then I'm excited be the mentor for you. Go ahead and apply in the link in the description and I'll see you on the other side. Peace.